What are the short and long-term effects of emotional abuse? Published by Healthline. Recognizing the signs. When thinking about abuse, physical abuse may come to mind first. But abuse can come in many forms. Emotional abuse is just as serious as physical abuse and often trusted source precedes it. Sometimes they happen together. If you're wondering whether it's happening to you, here are some of the signs. Yelling. Name-calling. Spewing insults or otherwise ridiculing you. Attempting to make you question your own sanity. Gaslighting. Invading your privacy. Punishing you for not going along with what they want. Trying to control your life. Isolating you from family and friends. Making subtle or overt threats. If you've been emotionally abused, know that it's not your fault. There's also not a correct way to feel about it. Emotional abuse isn't normal, but your feelings are. Continue reading to learn about the effects of emotional abuse and how to get help. Short-term effects. You might be in denial at first. It can be shocking to find yourself in such a situation. It's natural to hope you're wrong. You may also have feelings of confusion, fear, hopelessness, shame. This emotional toll can also result in behavioral and physical side effects. You may experience difficulty concentrating, moodiness, muscle tension, nightmares, racing heartbeat, various aches and pains, long-term effects. Studies trusted source show that severe emotional abuse can be as powerful as physical abuse. Over time, both can contribute to low self-esteem and depression. You may also develop guilt, social withdrawal or loneliness. Some researchers theorize trusted source that emotional abuse may contribute to the development of conditions such as chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia. Does it affect children differently? As with adults, emotional abuse of children can go unrecognized. If a child is experiencing emotional abuse, they may develop regression. If left unresolved, these conditions can continue into adulthood and leave you vulnerable to more mistreatment. Most children who are abused don't grow up to abuse others. But some research suggests that they may be more likely than adults who weren't abused during childhood to engage in toxic behaviors. Adults who were abused or neglected as children may also be more likely to develop chronic health problems, including substance use disorders. Does emotional abuse lead to post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD? Emotional abuse doesn't always lead to PTSD, but it can.